Hi, I'm Jess and welcome to Aberdeen Science Centre. As part of Explorathon 2020, we're going to be learning about wind and how to measure wind energy. Here is one of our brand new exhibits, the Experimentation Wind Table. Inside here is an airstream which pushes air upwards. Let's do some investigating and see what happens when we put different shaped pieces of paper onto the table. I can control the speed of the wind using this dial here, making the wind go faster or slower. And here is what this exhibit looks like inside. There are four fans which together make the strong wind which makes our paper move. First, I'm going to try out a cone. Here, the moving air from the fans is producing a force and pushing the cone upwards. Because the force of the air pushing up is bigger than the force of gravity, the cone flies. If the force pushing up is equal to gravity, the cone will hover. Now, here I have a paper helicopter. If you come to the centre, this is a great experiment you can try for yourself. what happens when it comes back down. It spins! This is because when the helicopter falls, air is pushing against the paper blades, bending them a little. When air pushes upwards on these blades, some of that energy becomes a sideways push. Because both blades are getting the same push in opposite directions, this causes the helicopter to spin. Have you ever wondered how we measure the speed of wind? Well, let's investigate. Wind speed is measured using an anemometer and today I'm going to show you how to make one. For this, you will need five cups, an empty bottle, a ruler, three thin sticks, strong tape, scissors and a pen. First, Use the ruler and mark the middle of two of the sticks. Then take one of the sticks and push each end through both sides of a cup. Repeat this for the second cup and then for the other stick and two cups. Use tape to secure the cups in place. Mark one of the cups clearly on the bottom. We'll need this later for working out how fast the wind is. Tape the sticks together in the middle so all cups are facing the same direction. Then tape the third stick to the middle of the wheel at a right angle. Put the fifth cup upside down and poke the stick through the top. Then, for our anemometer to work, we need a strong base. For this, you could use sand, gravel or even stick it into the ground outside. Today, however, we're going to be using water. Finally, make sure that the cups can spin easily and it's ready to test out. Stand the anemometer outside where it can catch the wind. To demonstrate this to you, I'm going to use a fan.
Use a stopwatch to help you count how many spins are in a minute. To work out the number of spins, choose your starting point and count every time the marked cup reaches that point. You can then estimate the wind speed in kilometres per hour by multiplying the number of spins in a minute by 60 and then dividing the answer by a thousand. And now you know how to measure the speed of wind. Let us know if you try this out for yourself by tagging Aberdeen Science Centre on social media. See you next time!